most important thing in, in, in treating postpartum depression is to make a careful diagnosis. So we don't want to assume that because a patient called their obstetrician three days postpartum and says, I can't sleep, I, I'm not sure if the baby's getting enough milk, um, um, my mother-in-law is visiting and she's driving me crazy, uh, that's not an opportunity necessarily to intervene with medications or to make a diagnosis. So a certain constellation of symptoms need to be present and need to persist for two weeks or more in order to make a diagnosis. Uh, in an, in an individual with a previous history of depression, we might be quicker to make that diagnosis if the symptoms are pretty uh, pronounced, uh, but in a, in a first episode, we would want to look for two weeks of symptoms of uh, depressed mood, hopelessness, helplessness, feelings of guilt, um, difficulty sleeping, uh, agitation. Typically in new mothers, we see a lot of uh, feelings of incompetence, uh, doubt about their ability to parent the baby adequately or, or um, to nurture the baby because they feel they have so little to give themselves. Uh, sometimes when we diagnose depression, we look for what we call vegetative symptoms of depression, problems with sleep, appetite, energy, libido. And if we only look at those symptoms, any new mother is going to look depressed because no new mother uh, you know, has a normal appetite or normal sleep patterns or a normal libido, uh, normal energy. Um, so we really try to look at psychological symptoms primarily. Mm -hmm.